Looking to take your Madden game to the next level while dominating kids in Weekend League? And learn high level schemes from some of the best Madden pros in the world? Make sure you check out Hot Route Tips and use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's up everybody, Chaos here, and yes, I'm bringing you guys my first fire tip of Madden 20. Guys, the support to start this year has been incredible, man. You guys have been unreal, knocking every like go out the park. The views and subs have all been there crazy. I just want to say thank you guys, I really appreciate you, and please continue to smack that like button for me. Since you guys have been killing every like go, I'm going to give you guys another one. We're going to bump it up a little bit. We're going to go for 400 likes today. If we get 400 likes, I'll drop you guys more fire tips just like this, as well as fire gameplays with other pros, as well as just in mud head-to-head doing my thing man I really appreciate you guys very quickly though I do want to make a small announcement hotroute.tips the link is in the description below make sure you guys check that out that's where my schemes will be all year long as well as several other pros and this week we're bringing our first ebooks to the site so we're going to be dropping kmax who's number one in mutt right now he's been absolutely dominating he's like 150 and one absolutely killing it you're gonna get thrones ebook who's been top 10 in mutt for this entire week he had like a 40 game win streak he's been dominating as well and then my ebook lastly is also gonna be coming this week so make sure you guys be on the lookout for those also guys while you're at it make sure you guys comment below what you guys think i'm at in 20 are you guys liking it you disliking it i know you guys either probably had ea access you had codes maybe you just been watching on twitch whatever the case may be are you guys enjoying it do you guys like it do you think it's gonna be a great year let me know, man. I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are. I personally think it's going to be a great year. I've had a lot of fun with it, and I'm ready to get rolling. Okay, so let's get down to it. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fit balls into tighter coverage. Avoid the click-ons this year, because the click-ons, you can really sway your, like, move your guy crazy to get back to the ball. When something might look open, you can get back to it. So just to avoid that, avoid getting hit-sticked, and just being able to throw the ball into tighter coverage, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, and obviously help you guys in the red zone, because the red zone is where the stuff really gets packed in, and it's really tight coverage down there. So just be able to fit things in right there, it's going to be really helpful for you guys. So that's what today's video is about, now let's get into it. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the low pass. The low pass is easily the best technique in this game. It's going to help you guys catch a lot of passes that you might not catch otherwise. In this game, you have a really good click on, so I'm going to show you guys two different scenarios. One where you throw it without a low pass, and I can click on and make a play and knock it out. And then another one with a low pass where I'm going to catch it uncontested. This is I'm going to put you guys in several different scenarios for this video, and you guys can just use it for any other thing. Like, just take it to whatever concepts you like to use on offense. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of different things where it can be successful for you and where you can implement it. So we're in Z spot here with a corner route, and we're in cover three sky. And yes, I'll be two controller warring it. Please drop a like just for the two controller skill. But I'm going to be throwing RB with a pass lead down here, and then I'm going to be able to still pick it off or knock it out. And Gilmore knocked it out right you guys see it very tough to do that two controller thing but i was able to knock it out so let's keep it going here okay so i'm just letting you guys know now i will be cutting throughout this entire video there are plays where i mess on my click on and i miss because i'm using two controllers so i don't want you guys to have to see that because it's not it's not the play it's really just me missing because i don't have four hands but i'm gonna show you guys this again throw rb with a pass lead down no low pass and you're gonna see i'm able to click on and swat the ball out so now I'm going to show you guys it with a low pass, and Stefan Gilmore is even activated, which is perfect, because you guys are going to be able to see he's not going to be able to make a play on this. So we're still uncover three hard flats, and I'll, I'll try to click on and get there, but I won't. I promise you guys that. So we're going to low ball RB, and he can't even get close. You guys are going to see I'm going to try to click on and get over there, but I'm not even going to be close. The low pass is going to keep me from being able to get any type of animation on it. And here we go. I low pass RB, try to get back there, and you guys see that low pass animation. I'm going to go to the replay for this. This animation prevents you from getting hit sticked or getting swatted or anything. The guy just can't get back to it. So just look at this catch animation right there. Like I tried to swat it. I got the same exact click on I did before. Really good. I get my swat animation, but instead of it being an upright guy to swat the ball out, he has to dive down low and he just can't get there. And I'll show you guys it one more time. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you guys it one more time with the low pass and just see how hard it is for, for them to, to uh, like hit me and, and swat it out or hit stick me and knock it out. It's very difficult. Go for the low pass again right here. And I try to get there, but it just doesn't let me because it just doesn't let the defender play it the way he would when he's upright because they just don't play the same. They die. They miss it. They don't get to you. Like watch him right here. Like I tried to click on and swat it, but you're going to see... I just dive at the ball like so they can't get to that it's just so different and you guys are going to see it throughout the rest of the plays too it's just a very very different thing so i'm gonna i'm gonna jump to the next play but that's it for z spot but i'll show you guys a couple more scenarios where the low pass is, re is really 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 good 
Okay, so we're gonna stick now with a short corner out and we're in cover three. Now this short corner out will get underneath the deep deep third, but if you don't low ball, they can make a play on it. So you're gonna see here, I throw it, I knock it out. Okay, I'm gonna show you it one more time. Cover three with hard flats. I'm gonna be able to click on and make a play. Pass lead down, and I'm able to knock it out. Like that's a pick opportunity, honestly. Like that could be a pick probably 50% of the time. Like, let's look at this in the replays. And I'm not even giving the best click on. Like, I'm having to switch controllers. Imagine if I was actually reacting right when I threw it, like you would in a normal game when you only have to play defense. Like, that's a slow reaction. Imagine if I was getting a quicker reaction. I'd probably get it, I'd probably get to it right, like, here, and it's a pick easily. Like, but this one right here is almost probably a pick 50% of the time. Okay, so now I'm going to throw with a low pass. And you guys are going to see, I probably won't even have a chance to get over to my other controller when he's catching the ball. You guys see that? That little low low catch is perfect. It's like so perfect because this year it's so easy to get hit sticks. Everyone can hit stick. I could get a hit stick. It's so easy. But look at this. It's impossible to hit stick this because he's falling to the ground. I'm trying to click on and get there, but there's nothing he can do. It's just not possible to get a reaction time quick enough to get back to that. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys this one more time. Cover three hard flats. Now, you, when you're doing this, you do want to be possession catching because it will help you guys get that fall down animation. But I'm gonna try to get there on this play. Wish me luck. It's gonna be very difficult, and I can't get there. I try, but that whenever you get that fall down animation, you're just not gonna get it with with the cornerback. And when you possession catch, you're pretty much gonna get that every single time. So let's watch here. There's nothing this guy can do. I try to click on and make the play here, and I'm running underneath it. But how can you get underneath the ball when the guy's falling right in front of it? You know what I mean? Like there's nothing this computer can do to get to that. So that's where it is on both cornerbacks, both short and deep corner routes i'm gonna show you guys it one play in the red zone but it's not really just a red zone play it's more so just a concept that you guys can mix in and using the low pass can help avoid those zones when it's really compact in the red zone okay so now i'm going to show the red zone we're in cover three hard flats and this is the guy i'm going to be hit sticking with i just have a backside in route with a flat i'm going to click on without the low pass i'm going to click on and be able to hit stick it out and then with the low pass i won't be able to hit it out And you see right there, I click on, make the hit stick, whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys one more time here how I can get the hit stick and knock it out. Just an in route with a flat, that's all it is. I'm gonna click on and knock it out. And you see right there, we're able to click on and make the play, right? Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys the exact same thing, flat route, in route, but I'm gonna try to click on versus the low pass and I'm not gonna be able to do it. So, here it is right here. Low pass, and I try to get, I. Before I was getting the hit stick, I didn't even get close to my controller on that. Okay, I'm going to show you guys one more time. You guys are seeing it's just way too quick. I tried to click on there. It's the same exact thing. Cover three hard flats. I'll try to click on to Vinoy, but it's not easy. I, I can't even get to my controller, guys. Seriously, you guys can say, like, he's just doing this for the video. Or whatever. No. I can't even get to my controller. The low pass is just too fast. I can't get to it. There's nothing I can do. Like, we'll go into the replays. Look how fast Brady just rifles this thing in. And it just doesn't even give me a chance to hit stick. Like, look at that. And he's falling down. Like, how can you hit stick that? There's nothing you can do. Literally just low passing it. Okay, but that's it for me, guys. That's really everything I have for you. I showed you guys three scenarios. There's really a million different scenarios where you can use the low pass. If you guys are getting hit sticked a lot or people click on and swatting balls out or maybe even picking them off, make sure you guys are implementing this into your game. I'm pretty much low passing everything right now. I'm low passing posts corners in routes curl whatever man it's just it's so easy to get a hit stick right now like if my grandma was hit sticking people i'm low passing man i don't want that i don't want my guys getting crushed i don't want to fumble i don't want incompletions where i should be catching the ball just start low passing and you'll make sure to not be able to get these hit sticks off but i hope you guys enjoy man that's it for me take it easy peace